Hey, this is Adam Turco. I'm the head coach of the Mansfield Nordic Club here at Craftsbury Outdoor Center for our Thanksgiving training camp. Um, here for do a little uh, ski rack video series. We're going to talk about bounding today. Um, bounding is one of the best ways to imitate ski technique and get prepared for the season. It's great for this shoulder season. It's almost going to be December, but we're still looking at uh, mostly dry land training. So the goals with ski bounding are to really imitate ski technique and practice uh, driving, driving the knees, setting the kick legs, and uh, getting some great intensity in for the season. Bounding workouts can vary in length and are great for mimicking any type of ski distance and terrain. You might choose to do bounding intervals that are 10 minutes long, 12 minutes long, at a slightly easier pace where you're not quite as explosive and just sort of engaging in the muscles in a different way than running and trying to get that little extra float. You might try and do um, 10 or 12 one minute bounding intervals, each of them at as hard as you can go, generating as much force and as much air time as you can. The poles you're going to use for bounding are really similar to your classic poles, so since you're on foot and not on skis, they're going to be a little bit shorter, maybe just below your armpit level. A lot of people use old alpine poles for this sort of thing, um, cut down an old pair of classic poles and you'll be in business. A lot of great bounding mechanics is really similar to running mechanics, which is also translating directly into ski mechanics. When you're running, we want to run on the balls of our feet, not hit with the heels and give a heel strike, which is going to send the force behind us. We want to land with a nice, um, balanced, athletic position. You want to spring off this foot and really get a lot of air time is my favorite word to discuss it. So you're really driving each foot forward getting some hang time and spending as little ground, little time on the ground as possible. I even like to start with a few hops to get the kind of image and uh, the feel for the ground and the snow that I want to see. And from there I might go straight into a bound, getting really explosive in the air.